uh, for dual input unbalanced output let me just write over here for dual input dual input unbalanced output unbalanced output I'm getting uh, when I'm providing V in of around 10 millivolts peak to peak 10 millivolts peak to peak okay so I'm getting the output of around V out of around 900 millivolts 900 millivolts peak to peak or else I can write it as around 0 0.9 volts peak to peak right 0 0.9 volts 0 0.9 volts peak to peak okay so this is the signal that I'm getting okay 0 0.9 volts peak to peak now if you could remember when we were dealing with dual input balanced output so this is unbalanced output so we got a signal of around the output signal I'm talking so we got the output signal of around 1.8 millivolts peak sorry 1.8 volts peak to peak so if you could remember so just have a look over here or there as well just have a look we provided the input signal of around 10 millivolts peak to peak and at the output side we got the signal of around 1.8 volts peak to peak okay that means what during unbalanced output we are getting the signal of uh, you know exactly half of it and why exactly it is why exactly we are getting the signal of around half okay that means why exactly we are getting the signal of around 0 0.9 0 0.9 volts peak to peak when it comes to balanced output so for that we will just uh, look upon the formula of gain so yeah just have a look over here for a uh, dual input balanced output so this is for dual input balanced output let me just write over here this is for dual input balanced output so for dual input balanced output just have a look uh, upon the formula so the formula is minus of hfe into rc divided by hie okay now let's come to the dual input unbalanced output so already i had told to you the du for uh, dual input unbalanced output the gain is half of the dual input balanced output and you can clearly see it is minus of hfe rc divided by hie into 2 that means whatever the uh, gain that we are getting for dual input uh, unbalanced output it is half of the dual input balanced output so that's why if you could remember during during let me yeah just write over here only if possible during dual input balanced output we were getting output of around 1.8 uh, volts peak to peak okay and during dual input unbalanced output i'm getting the v out of around 0 0.9 volts peak to peak okay and the reason is quite simple because the gain is the gain is half of that means ad is half of uh, the whatever the ad that means i'll just write over here the ad that we are getting over here for the time being we'll assume it as ad1 and the ad that we are getting over here that means the differential gain it is half of the ad1 by 2 okay so i hope you are able to understand this particular thing okay great okay so i hope everything is crystal clear up till here now what i'll do i'll just cancel it and if you could remember uh, i told you let me just run it once again and let me keep it at ac okay or even dc that doesn't matter okay as i told you in case of balanced output what what i told you when i was skipping uh, this particular oscilloscope at dc so still we were getting output for dual input balanced output but in case of dual input unbalanced output when i will keep uh, the channel be at dc see the output signal is no more that means we are not getting the output signal but it's not like that we are getting output signal but it would be around 7.5 volts i will just explain you the reason but let me just uh, sh show you that so see this is channel b okay i'm just uh, increasing the volts and you can clearly see you can clearly see basically we are getting a pure dc signal okay that means what over here let me let me just uh, stop this particular uh, oscilloscope somewhere somewhere over here see when i'm taking output from one collector terminal so what exactly is happening is that let me uh, just uh, take uh, yeah green color but before that let me just move it somewhere over here okay and yeah now it's fine so see what is happening uh, so this is my plus vcc where it is yeah see over here this is plus 15 volt which is around uh see this is my vcc which is plus 15 volts right this is plus 15 volts so if you could remember in ce amplifier as well uh, what i told you uh we keep vc of around we keep vc as around vcc by 2 so basically uh, this we, i will explain you during designing you don't worry but this is uh what we follow in case of ce amplifier as well so vc would be around 7.5 volts right 7.5 volts and now you just look over here i'm taking output 
uh, between collector and ground right between collector and ground so what exactly is happening over here is that see at this particular point two things are happening that is we are getting 7.5 volts as well 7.5 as well plus we are also getting the ac signal that means 0.9 volts okay 0.9 uh, volts peak to peak that means uh, 0.9 that means around 4 point i mean 0 0.5 4 5 mvp right something like this so if you add this uh, or uh, it, it would be a 7.5 plus of 0 0.4 mvp and then at next instance next instance it would be 7.5 volts minus of 4 uh, mvp i hope you are able to understand this particular part so basically what is happening over here is that we are getting ac signal as well and at the same time we are getting dc signal as well so it, it would be something like this so this is my see this is my 7.5 millivolts of signal 7.5 sorry not fi uh, 5 millivolts it is 7.5 volts of signal over here so we see 7.5 volts and this on this particular signal there would be one ac signal riding something like this okay so basically superimposition of ac signal would be taking on this particular dc but the ac signal is so weak that we cannot see the ac signal but somehow if you could see you know there is certain uh, you know uh, ac kind of component you can see over here on the oscilloscope if you could look over here so basically over here this is uh, this particular component it is 7.5 plus of uh, 0 0.45 vp it should be vpm my mistake uh just a second i'll just uh uh need to rectify it so this is a vp okay this is vp 0 0.45 vp okay so 0 0.45 vp okay that means over here i think it should be 7.9 right 5 6 7 8 9 yes uh, 7.95 okay so basically this particular amplitude would be 7.95 volts and the lower one it, it should be uh, 7 point something right uh, 7.5 minus of 0 0.45 VP so essentially it would be around 7.05 volt so you can clearly see our signal is fluctuating between uh, uh, 7.05 to 7.95 but the important parameter or the important thing that you should notice is that the 7.5 volts it is dominating this particular 7.5 volts it is dominating and that's why at the output side you can clearly see a straight line okay a straight line over here because 7.5 volts is dominating uh, uh, over this uh, ac signal okay so that's why what we can do to counter this par particular issue let me just erase all of the thing let me just erase all of the thing okay so to counter this particular issue what we can do is that over here we can connect one capacitor and then we can connect it to the oscilloscope something like this okay we can connect one capacitor so what capacitor will do capacitor will block the dc okay and then it will pass the ac signal okay it will just sorry uh, let me erase it although i hope you are able to understand this particular part so it will allow the ac signal to pass through it okay but now i know most of the student they will ask me sir uh, basically our agenda to use differential amplifier was uh, to make sure that we should not use capacitor in the integrated circuit but now why you, why you are telling this see uh, uh, when it comes to integrated circuit so differential amplifier is just a part of it what i mean to say is that see basically when we are using differential amplifier in integrated circuit we prefer to use a uh, balanced output why i'll tell you the reason now what i'll do i'll just move it somewhere over here now what i'll do uh, i'll uh, connect the negative terminal of this particular oscilloscope to the collector of transistor q2 somewhere over here okay and now let me run this circuit and you can just have a look over here see first of all the gain will gain will increase and most importantly see over here even though i had kept the oscilloscope i mean the b channel uh, uh, to dc okay i had kept the b channel to dc but still we are getting certain output okay we are still getting the output that is pure AC signal and what exactly is happening over here is that see when I say that I'm taking output from both the collector terminals so it it looks something like this so let me just take one color okay so let's suppose I'm taking output from this particular collector C1 okay and let's suppose if I'm also taking output from this particular collector C2 okay so this is my output collector C1 and this is my output collector C2 so if you look over here at this particular end what we are getting is that at this particular end we are getting 
प्लस ऑफ सेवन पॉइंट फाइव वोल्ट्स ओके एंड प्लस ऑफ सर्टन ए सी ए सी कंपोनेंट राइट प्लस ऑफ सर्टन ए सी कंपोनेंट ग्रेट एंड ओवर हियर वॉट वी आर गेटिंग इज दैट ओवर हियर वी आर गेटिंग लाइट ओवर हियर प्लस ऑफ जस्ट अ सेकेंड लेट मी इरेज दिस सॉरी या ओवर हियर वॉट वी आर गेटिंग इज दैट प्लस ऑफ सेवन पॉइंट फाइव वोल्ट्स एंड माइनस ऑफ ए सी माइनस ऑफ ए सी कंपोनेंट आई विल टेल यू दैट वाई एक्जैक्टली वी आर गेटिंग माइनस ऑफ ए सी वेन वी विल डिजाइन यू नो वेन वेन एवर वील डिजाइन डिफरेंशियल एम्पलीफाइड डोंट वरी अबाउट दैट बट ओवर हियर विल गेट माइनस ए सी कंपोनेंट सो वेन यू सब्ट्रैक्ट दिस ओके वाई वी आर सब्ट्रैक्टिंग बिकॉज वट एवर द आउटपुट दैट वी आर टेकिंग इट वुड भी बिटवीन दिस टू कलेक्टर राइट सो वी आउट वुड भी सो वी आउट वुड भी वी ओ वन माइनस ऑफ वी ओ टू राइट इफ यू कुड रिमेंबर द फॉर्मूला सो वी ओ वन इज नथिंग बट सेवन पॉइंट फाइव प्लस ऑफ ए सी राइट प्लस ऑफ ए सी कंपोनेंट माइनस ऑफ दिस शुड बीन ब्रैकेट प्लस ऑफ सेवन पॉइंट फाइव माइनस ऑफ ए सी कंपोनेंट राइट सो इवेंचुअली इफ यू सी दिस इज सेवन पॉइंट फाइव माइनस ऑफ सेवन पॉइंट फाइव एंड देन वी आर गेटिंग प्लस ऑफ ए सी एंड दिस माइनस एंड माइनस सी माइनस एंड माइनस विल बिकम प्लस राइट सो प्लस ऑफ ए सी सो बेसिकली you can clearly see is that what you can see is that this 7.5 and 7.5 they are getting cancelled that means your dc component it is getting cancelled dc component it is getting cancelled and what we are getting is two times of ac that means you have ac plus of 0 volts that means what your dc component is getting cancelled when we are using balanced output i hope you are getting this particular point so during balanced output your dc component it is getting cancelled and you, you are only getting ac component okay okay so that's why if you look over here even though i had kept uh, uh, the channel beyond dc still we are getting you know ac signal a pure ac signal at the output side okay when we, when i had kept uh, the channel b at uh, dc okay and the reason is quite simple because to one side of the uh, uh, collector that means to one side of the differential amplifier at the output side that means at c1 i will get uh, dc component plus of ac component and to the other side i will get uh, dc component minus of ac component okay minus of ac component okay i hope you are able to understand this particular part why i will uh, why i am getting minus of ac i will explain you this particular part in some other video okay but this is what it is i hope you are able to understand this particular part okay